In my life, I've seen good Batman movies, and I've seen some bad Batman movies. And no, I will not show the bad Batman movie, because no way Batman and Robin is gonna get shown in any shape or form on my video. Let's change the subject. We've seen bad, we've seen good Batman movies, but what about the Batman movies that we've not seen? What about the cancelled ones? What about them? Well, today I will list off five of those cancelled Batman movies. So get your bat nipples on and get in your Batmobile because it's top five cancelled Batman movies. Number one. The first movie that I'm going to be talking about is Batman 3. And no, I'm not talking about Batman Forever. No. But what I'm talking about is a canceled Batman 3. What am I talking about, you ask? Well, if you know Batman movies from the 80s and 90s, it went Batman 1989 and then Batman Returns. And, um, they were pretty good. They were both directed by Tim Burton and both starred... Michael Keaton, and they are so fantastic. I love them both. But when the third one came around, it all changed. Oh, it all changed in a bad way, too. They changed the directors, or director, they changed the writers, and, oh, God. And it turned out bad. But before they decided they wanted to change it all up it was actually gonna be like the other two in the sense it was gonna be directed by Tim Burton and his plan for the movie would be kinda like Batman Forever the villain would be Two-Face but Two-Face would be played by Billy D. Williams since Harvey Dent was played by Billy D. Williams in Batman 1989 the Riddler would be in it, but he would be played by Robin Williams. And Robin would also be in it. And listen to this. Robin would be played by Marlon Wayans of the Wayne Brothers. That would have been interested. interesting. But as things go, they decided they did not want him to direct because he could not really make a kid-friendly movie, so they got Joel Schumacher that could. And that's how we ended up with Batman Forever. The second Batman movie I am gonna talk about is Batman Trapped. It was gonna be the fifth installment in the Batman franchise, and Joel Schumacher would return to direct once again. And the story behind it would be Batman and Robin, once again played by George Clooney and Chris O'Donnell, with Batgirl, played by Alicia Silverstone, would have to fight Scarecrow, which might have been played by Jeff Goldblum, Ori McGregor. It's actually, that's actually a rumor, but, you know. Um, they would have to square against the Scarecrow. But, um, he was not the only villain in it. The Joker would also return because, you know, Scarecrow's gases cause hallucinations and one of the hallucinations would be for Batman to see the Joker played by Jack Nicholson once again and we would also get Harley Quinn but she would be Joker's daughter instead of the actual Harley Quinn so that would have been a big disappointment but luckily it never happened so Let's move on. The third Batman movie I'm going to talk about is The Batman, which was a planned Batman movie before Batman 1989, directed by Tim Burton, came out. But sadly, there's not much on this Batman movie. Some things that I know about it is that it would be titled The Batman. It would be released sometime between 1983 and 1985. Any, any one of those years, from 1984, I'm not really sure, and would be directed by Ghostbusters director Ivan Rippin. And
and would be written by Tony Mandrix, writer of such movies as Superman 2 and some James Bond movies. And uh, the craziest fact about this movie is that Bill Murray, yes, Bill Murray, would play Batman. So yeah. Can you imagine the Ghostbusters director directing a Batman movie and Batman being Bill Murray? Or at least being played by Bill Murray? That's insane! Or is it genius? You will never know. The fourth cancelled Batman movie I'm going to talk about is Batman Year One, which would have been directed by Darren Arnfasky. Arnfasky. Darren Aaron Fisky. Air Fisky. I'm not gonna get this right now. Let's continue. So this movie would be based off the Batman Year One comic book. A comic book that I've not actually read. But, uh, I'm going off subject. So let's get back to it. So, this movie was gonna be a lot different than any Batman story that I mean, I've ever seen. So, in this one, Bruce Wayne would be orphaned after his pa parents were killed. And this time he wouldn't get any money, and he would be taken in by Alfred who found him on the streets. And Alfred would go by Big Al in this movie, and they would live in his repair shop. And that's super duper weird. But, um, some more things about it. Selena Kyle would appear in it, and she would be an African prostitute. Yes, you heard me correctly. Catwoman would be an African prostitute. And no, I'm not joking. This is all true. Some more on this movie is that Clint Eastwood was not gonna play a Batman. Some people say Clint Eastwood could have played Batman in it, but Darren half-joked that he wanted Clint Eastwood to play Batman. But one actor up to play Batman in that movie was Christian Bell. But since the movie was canceled, he didn't get to play Batman in that movie. But he did get to play Batman in Batman Begins and Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. So that's good. So that's about it on what I know about how Batman Year One movie. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of glad it was canceled. I don't think a movie that was so off the you know, the subject and all that on Batman would actually work. Is it? it? Sounded so much different than the original Batman storyline. It was weird. Or at least sounded weird. But let's move on. So the fifth and final Batman movie I'm gonna talk about is a live action Batman Beyond movie. Oh my god, that sounds so awesome. It sounds so awesome. But it was canceled. But I still got some facts about it. So, after Batman and Robin flopped, Wonder Bros wanted a Batman movie. Joel Schumacher didn't really hand in anything good. Batman Triumphant, they didn't really like the idea of it. And. They already canceled it since Batman and Robin, you know. So, they started to think of new ideas. And then one idea they had was to make a Batman Beyond movie. It would be live action and it would be based off the Batman Beyond animated series, which was quite popular at the time. And this all sounds great. You got Boaz Yakins to be the director of it. And everything so far sounds good. And then they turned in the first draft of 
the script of the Batman Beyond movie. And that's when things started to... So, of course WB liked it, but they had their minds set on something else. A Batman movie based off of Batman Year One. So, they started focusing on that idea and left the Batman Beyond movie idea in the dust. And carried on with Batman Year One. And we all know what, what happened with that Batman Year One movie. It never happened. Just like Batman Beyond never happened in any of the Batman movies that I've um, put in this list. It never happened. So that sucks. But it does leave us with a thought. And that thought is, what would these movies be like if they were not canceled? Huh. It's a weird thought, ain't it? So thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, give it a like, and uh, maybe you could uh, subscribe to me if you want to be a pal. And I'm sorry I could not get to all the canceled Batman movies in the world, like uh, Batman Dark Knight, which was another planned Batman movie from uh, Batman director Joel Schumacher, or any of other Schumacher's ideas, but I wanted to choose the Batman films that were actually kind of close to getting made, and those were not, so sorry about that, but uh, you guys have a great day, like and subscribe, and um, I'll talk to you soon, bye!